Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first update in my Project Pan 100 Uses project, and I'm super excited to share with you guys all of the progress that I've made thus far. But before we get into this video, I just wanted to address some of the things that are going on in the world right now. There are a lot of people out there who are dealing with some really terrible things, and I think we just need to be positive, as positive we can be, and spread love, and I think you gotta do your part. So doing your part could mean social distancing, it could be, mean donating. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like for you, but you just have to do what's best for you and your family and for the world, honestly. Everyone out there, we all need to work together and hopefully get through this together. So yeah, I don't wanna dwell on that. I think I might do a video about how to be productive working from home, because a lot of us are now in that boat. I am permanent work from home for at least the next 30 days and probably longer the way things are going. I hope my channel at least during this time can be a little bit of a distraction. I know it's hard if you're stuck in the house and like even if you're working or if you're not working to just kind of get bogged down and you know it's one of those things where if like you're trapped in one space it can be hard on you mentally. So I hope my channel can be a little bit of a distraction. I'm certainly not going to dwell on everything that's going on in the world. I might offer do like a video for some tips and tricks on how to work from home but really my content is going to remain the same and that's not to be insensitive to every Everything that's going on but really to be a distraction for all of you guys to take a step out of all of the things that are going on in the world right now and talk about makeup talk about something lighthearted talk about panning because we have to stay positive and we have to keep a good outlook on everything with all of that being said I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you're staying healthy and your family and friends are staying healthy and just hang in there we'll get through this so if you guys haven't watched the intro to this project pan I highly recommend you do so I will leave a card up above but basically what I am doing in this project pan is working on five different products until I have used them 100 times so I'm tracking all the uses every time that I use them and then once I use that product 100 times I'll roll it out and roll something else in this is kind of in my mind a great way to use the products in your collection without necessarily having to finish them but get a good amount of use on them one so that you can really understand what you like the product for how you like to use it but also too i think this is like super eye-opening in the sense of how long it takes to use some of these products honestly like i love buying makeup but when you do a project like this and you're like holy moly i feel like i've been using this every day for the past month and i haven't made any sort of progress on it although i have but like it doesn't really feel like you have you're kind of a little more wary about like purchasing a bunch of new makeup because you feel like you might not ever be able to use it. So I really like this project for that, but I also think this is a really good precursor or setup of moving some of these products into a project pan in the future. Because if I use it a hundred times, hopefully I'll hit pan or hopefully I'll make some good progress on it and then it'll make a lot more sense to focus on it in a future project pan, like to finish it completely. So that's kind of my goal and hopefully you'll see these things in project pans in the future but not probably back to back or anything like that but yeah i have made some progress on the five products that i have started with i have my count and i'm going to bring in the scale and show you guys the progress that way as well and let's go ahead and talk about the products so i'm going to go in number of times that i actually use the product so the first thing is this cody airspun loose face powder and i use this 25 times this month and i use it with my tati blendiful to just set my foundation and i love this for that but i will say that this powder takes forever to use there is a ton of powder still down here and i've just been losing losing using the powder that's like already above the sifter and i didn't have to get any more powder above the sifter there's still a ton up there that i need to use so i have a feeling that this is going to take way more than 100 uses especially because i had already been using it a lot beforehand but that's something you know that you get a ton of powder on this this is a drugstore product super affordable i really love it so it is great bang for your buck something to keep in mind but I am basically a quarter of the way through for this project and then I will roll it out of this project pan. The Cody Airspun powder for the intro was at 111 grams and now we are sitting at 107 grams so I used 4 grams of product over the 25 uses. The next product I want to talk about is this Tarte lip gloss in 
cherry slush so you can't really see where the product is but it's basically down to here now and it had been up above the pink I don't know, piece of plastic before this I put this in my work bag and then I would reapply it at work to moisturize my lips obviously or just to get a little bit of color because it is red and it does it gives you like a slight amount of color which is like perfect for work I love it for work plus it smells amazing but like I said now I am permanent work from home so I'm just gonna have to use this when I can and I do really like this lip gloss like I said I think it's really nice the only thing is is it feels super moisturizing when you first put it on and then after like a half hour it feels a lot less moisturizing where some lip glosses I feel like stay on your lips and make your lips feel super moisturized for a lot longer so just something to keep in mind but I did use this 22 times this month and I feel like I made some good progress it is interesting you can kind of see like where the progress is on this because the lip gloss all goes down to the bottom so I think you know with a, a few more months of using this I will probably be able to make some really good progress potentially finish it the Tarte lip gloss was at 32 grams in the intro video and now it's still sitting at 32 grams which that's another one that surprises me because you can honestly see how much of the product has gone down but hey I guess it just doesn't weigh that much the next thing on my list of times that I used is this NARS blush and I use this 21 times honestly I can't even tell a difference that I used it that many times I would take this with me on trips when we could go on trips and this was like perfect because it's a travel size blush but I wanted to see if I could start making some more progress on it and like I said I used it 21 times and I feel like there was very little progress made but maybe that's just because it's super tightly packed I'm not sure if the scale will show anything different I think that'll be interesting to do I have not measured them yet and you'll get, you'll see that in the scale clips but I do really love this blush I think it's super beautiful it is nice because you can kind of build it up and you don't it's not like one of those blushes where like you put it on your br brush and then you feel like you're overly blushing yourself you can build up the color which is super nice so big fan of this um, and I'm gonna keep using it till I hit 100 when I weighed the NARS blush in my first update it was 21 grams now it's weighing in at 20 grams I used my naked skin concealer from Urban Decay 19 times this month I just really use it on my under eyes and blend it out with a brush. I really like this concealer. I had had it like laying like this before I put it in this project and you could see a lot of like the, the product then like moved down and you could see a lot of the clear space of the bottle but I've just been having it sit up like this and you cannot really tell where the product is. So hopefully we'll have some good numbers when I weigh this on the scale but this is a really good product. I'm curious to see like when I get another couple months of use in and that number goes from 19 to like 50 or 60 how much product is actually left in here. I am uh, very interested to see where we end up with this and if after 100 uses there's still enough to keep going or if I will have finished this because when I first put this in this pro project I was thinking that it would be less than 100 uses to get this done but now that I like see it and I've been using it and I used it 19 times and there's still what seems to be a ton of product left in here I'm not so sure to be honest. At the intro video the concealer weighed in at 20 grams and now it's still weighing in at 20 grams which honestly surprises me because I have been using this quite a lot and I figured it would weigh a little bit less but I guess we'll have to see for the next update and then last is my ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist and I used this 15 times and I did make progress you'll see like in the close-ups for sure but definitely not as much as I thought 15 times would take me I do spray this four times so I spray like three stripes across my face and then like another stripe going the other way but I was thinking that I don't know in my mind I thought 15 uses would definitely take this down a lot more so again it's one of those things where like you get a lot more product than you think you do which is so interesting so I guess we'll see in the next few months how much further I can get this down but I don't think 100 uses will complete this bottle at all I mean because that's 15 yeah I definitely don't think that 100 uses will complete this but I think we'll make a pretty good dent in it which is awesome and super exciting and one of the reasons why we're doing this project anyways when I weighed this setting mist in the first update it was 147 grams and it's now 136 grams 
So that is all the progress that I made this month. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and hopefully I can get close to 50 on some of these products next month and then we'll be halfway there to rolling them out. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a bunch of other project pans going on and by a bunch, I mean I have two other <laughs> project pans going on. I just have like a 2020 rolling style project pan and then I have a pan those eyeshadows project pans. So if you're interested in panning, please check out those playlists. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, stay safe out there. Make the best decisions for you and your family and everyone in this world. Everyone's counting on you, honestly. And yeah, good luck. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.